Hey guys, Greg here with Aspis Tactical, and I've had a couple of questions on how we get those buttery, smooth, high polished, buffed edges on our Kydex holsters. And um, I decided I'm going to do a little video here and I'm going to show you exactly the steps that we go through. It's not rocket science, it takes a little bit of time, it takes a little bit of a, of a light hand at, at some points. Um, but um, remember that if, if you can always take away a little more but after you've taken too much you can't put it back so uh, the, the big key here is to go very slowly and, and do a little at a time and don't get overzealous in the process um, I'm gonna take you step by step through exactly how I do it um, there's no necessarily right way or wrong way um, I've been in the jewelry business 21 years and I've buffed everything from precious metals to watch crystals and I can tell you from experience um, some ways not to polish and not to buff and um, I've learned those the hard way but as a result of uh, if you can polish a platinum ring and make it shiny I, I'm thoroughly convinced you can polish and make just about anything shiny uh, and Kydex is really a forgiving material um, it's it's so forgiving that if you burn it, uh, take it back to the belt sander, sand a little bit off of it, and, and go right back to it again. Uh, but don't get too overconfident on the sander and take too much out. Uh, anyway, we're going to cut to the videos. Um, I will uh, show you some, some up-close macro shots in between each step. And then the very last step is the step that we do that... Um, I can't say everybody else doesn't do they, they may do it I don't know but this is the, the last step is really the final step in putting it all together to make those buttery smooth um, almost automotive finished looking edges so um, stand by and we'll uh, show you how we do it thanks all right guys we've got this thing cut down and i've got it shaped the way i want it and i'm about ready to start doing the edge treatment on this and i do very little hand sanding uh, most everything that i do is going to be done on the belt sander or disc sander and i get my i get my edges pretty smooth with with either the disc or the belt and then i'll transition over to the buffing machine and put the uh, kind of put the, the the show shine on it if you will um, what I'm going to go ahead and do off camera is I will pre-polish both of, of both halves on the top because once this thing is riveted together then those are very very hard uh, areas to get to with a buff without ending up digging into something that you don't want to buff um, so then once I get these uh, already pre-polished the way I want them, I'll go ahead and rivet these two halves together and I'll put it back on the belt sander, true up my edges, and we'll take it over to the buffer and show you exactly how we do the buffing part of it. So stand by for just a second. Let me, uh, let me do those two, two things there. Actually what I'll do is I'll set the camera up over and you can watch me as I uh, pre-polish these edges here. So uh, let's go over the sander, uh, I'm sorry, the buffer and see what we can do. Five ply uh, by uh, five inch untreated stitched cotton buff that we will be using a compound called Tripoli on. Tripoli is going to have a fast cut um, but it won't, it's not going to gouge into the plastic unless we put too much pressure. So the combination of a medium stiffness buff and a, a more aggressive compound um, will result in, in, a, in a better finish in a shorter amount of time without burning the kydex or cutting too much away. So stand by, let's uh, get this thing going.
holster riveted together and I'm going to um, take it back to the belt and the disc and I'm going to true up these edges and also make my curves because I don't want any sharp edges so I'm going to curve it um, I'm going to pay special attention not to touch the areas that I've already pre-polished or pre-buffed but I want to shorten the distance uh, between the rivets and the edges a little bit and true them up kind of square them up uh, also kind of make some relief cuts in here so that this thing's not quite so boxy and wide so uh, here we go this is a 220 grit disc so we'll now put a, a little bit softer edge. As a matter of fact, I will. Um, matter of fact, let me get um, the camera with a macro lens, and I'm going to take a really up close, um, really up close microscopic picture of this edge before we put it on the 220 grit. Stand by. And now on with the 220 grit disc. That looks good. So we're going to go back, um, take another up close macro shot of this now that it's been sanded with 220. And from here, we will go back to the buffer. Do our magic over there. One more thing I want to talk about when we sand this, all of our sand marks from the belt sander and the disc sander are basically running lengthwise to our, to our kydex. While we're doing this, if we're buffing this direction, we're going with the grain of the sanding marks. So, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but when you when when we're polishing, we're basically doing the same thing as sanding, but we're doing it on a microscopic level so that we are if you'll imagine the surface of this looking like a golf ball under a microscope and you got high areas and low areas, and we want to take the high areas down to to be even with the low areas. And if we're going with the grain, not only are we taking the high spots down, but these fibers are getting past the high spots into the low spots, and we're taking the low spots down also. So I won't go with exactly with the grain a whole lot until it's time to really color it up. You'll see me go at 45 degree angles both directions, and that helps take more of those high spots off and less of the low spots. <laughs> right quick I'm gonna take another still photo with a macro lens so that you can see what it looks like after the Tripoli and when we're done with that we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you kind of the um, kind of the super secret finishing touches on how to really make this gleam it will, it's gonna turn out really nice hang tight we'll be right back okay so now you've seen um, what that looks like um, with, a, with a macro lens. Um, what I'm going to do now is what I do um, with all of my holsters and this is a step that you can skip if you want to but if you really want to get those buttery smooth edges uh, this is really the only way to do it. And this is a very loose soft stitched cotton wheel and we will be using a blue rouge that is made for plastics. It's all it's made for is, is, is to do plastic work with. And all I want to do with this wheel is I want to, to apply some of the rouge onto the wheel and I only want to apply enough I basically don't want to apply any pressure with the kydex itself. I basically just really want this these fibers to barely 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 touch the surface. And that is what's going to give us our, our really shiny, buttery edge. So let's check this out. look 
absolutely fantastic under the macro lens. I don't know if I can get a close up here. I'm going to try. Step around to the camera. If you can see that, that is. And this is the only edge I've done. So you can see this is the edge that still is just sanded with 220. And this is the edge that has got the the gleam on it. But you can kind of see how the light reflects off of it. And we'll get another macro shot of that here in just a second. Oh, and one more thing. See these little edges that have all the compound residue? Get a few questions that uh, ask how's the easiest way to get that off? <laughs> Being a jeweler's got its advantages. Check this thing out. Um, you know exactly what uh, what I do to Aspis holsters to make those buttery smooth edges. Uh, if you don't take away anything else from this video, take away this. Um, the, um, I guess, science, if you will, behind buffing, if that's an actual science or not, I don't I don't know that, that it's a science, but, but think of your edges as uh, microscopically like a golf ball. And you want those edges, the, you want the, the mountains and to, to meet the valleys. And... If you're always going with the grain, not only are you making those mountains smaller, but you're making those valleys deeper. So use that buffing wheel at a 45 degree edge both directions to, uh, to what you're polishing. And, and that going against the grain uh, takes away those mountains, but it doesn't necessarily make those valleys any, any deeper either. And the, the next thing is the blue plastic polish and a really soft uh, wheel. And that is really going to put that automotive finish, what I call it, I call it an automotive finish shine on it. And it takes a very, very minimal amount of compound and a very minimal amount of pressure. You don't want to put any pressure on it. Just let the wheel barely kiss the Kydex and let it do its thing. Uh, again, take it slow. And um, if you guys got any questions, uh, ask questions down in the comment box. Um, I hope this video helps you guys. If I can help in any way, uh, man, feel free to, uh, to contact me through our website, www.aspisfirearms.com, or you can find us on Facebook, www.facebook forward slash Aspis Tactical Solutions. And uh, I welcome any questions. I'll help you guys any way I can. Thank you very much. Have a great day.